Welcome back to the StepX program, footwork program. So now we're gonna try to work on different concepts about still about form, uh, speed, but we're gonna use like different footworks, not specifically the basic one, but we're gonna mix all. So let's go. So now we'll show you some different uh, footwork, some different concepts that I like. So we're gonna start with some footwork that we can extend the body. So instead of staying like this, we're gonna try to uh, add some move to take more space in your footwork. So we can try to make it with kind of five step variation and or six step variation. I will show you one that I like. <clears throat> I'm gonna add one kick inside the footwork. So there is different footwork that you can add some kick and this one is good. I start with the six step form, so like this. And I'm gonna kick now. So for that I have to push on my right hand. I have to be sure to have good uh, bounce on my legs and I'm gonna kick my left leg in the air like this, kick and then I go back to this position and I finish the move. So it's pretty much dynamic. It's kind of uh, uh, six step, but I had a kick inside. So let's do it together like this. Now you have to find your balance. You have to push on your arm, kick and jump on the same time. So this one, I like it because it makes it, it make your footwork dynamic. And as I told you now on this episode, we're gonna work on different concepts. So this is dynamic kick footwork. Another one, this one, I'm gonna extend also the footwork, try to go on this way and I'm gonna add the kick, but this time on this direction. So, I start with the six step form and I have this move like this and I'm gonna put the kick now, pretty much on the same time than the hook. So, when I do the hook, I kick, okay? Once again, so like this, the hook, and I kick. And as you see, when I kick, I start to go a little bit down. So I play also with the level. I extend the footwork on this way, I extend the footwork on this way, I play with the level, and I kick on the same time. So this is what, um, this, this is why, sorry, the, this uh, concept is really important for you to know that you can mix all, you know, you can mix all the basic that you know, all the concepts that we worked together before. So, let's go. On this position, I extend the footwork. As you see, I'm not like this, I'm totally like that. And I kick. This is also a footwork and I use the kick as the six step I did before. So we can also still with the kick play with hook, kick and um, continuous footwork. So for this one, I'm gonna start on this position, do the hook, kick with my left leg and try to change the direction. So, this, and I go inside, and I finish the move with my hook on the opposite way, as you see. So now I have to 
change and kick with this one. Go inside and finish with the hook. So it's a continuous footwork. As you see, infinite. I start like this, kick. So still with the kick now, we're gonna try to mix between the CCs, the kick and kind of Zulu spin. So Zulu spin is basically one footwork that you can do this kind of rotation like this. So you just have to turn around, you know, like this, but I'm gonna put one kick inside. It's kind of the same kick that I use on the CC's footwork, but I will make it like bigger, stronger. So, this, and I kick on the same time. This, okay? I kick and I go back to my zero position. So, kick, go back. Kick, go back. I will show you now a little bit faster. And it's nice because we, you can travel with this footwork. I, I like to do it. So, I kick, go back to the zero position, and I try to travel at the same time. Once again. Okay, so now I will try to use the same concept with the kick, but a little bit down. I'm gonna use some sweep, slide, and still the concept is about kick and travel, okay? So, on this position, I kick, but instead of go back to the zero position, I will go, I'm, I'm gonna use the sweep that we already saw together. So, this one, kick, and go back on this position. As you see, I'm not in the zero position, I am down, okay? So, let's go, kick, kick, and kick. Once again, I let my leg like this, I go inside, kick, and kick. Faster, like this. So now we'll try to find some different concepts. I will show you a lot. And this one, I like it because it's kind of concept that I go on this way and then I decide to go back and then I go to my normal way. So this kind of effect that I go from one side to the opposite, then go back to the normal way. So this is just that. <clears throat> I will try like this. I kick and I go back. As you see, this is just this move that I'm gonna have in the normal footwork, maybe five step or six step. Do whatever you want. So this movement, okay? Make it like um, light. So for that, when you kick here, you have to think about this leg and this one gonna go on my back like this, okay? Ready to go in front. So this and then go back to six step or whatever you want it can be 
four step just this effect about go inside okay inside and you can play with that try to mix and try to find new variation with this move now i will show you some different also about uh, slide. Slide is something that I like to use in footwork. There is a lot. There is the kind of size or slide. Size or slide is this one. Okay, so you just have to <clears throat> open and kind of scissor on the floor, and you open it again. Okay, so on this way. This position, sorry, back to this position. And you can make it again from this position. You push and then you push. This is this kind of concept that you can use maybe once or many times. It depends on about what you want to do. You can also add some move like position and then go back to footwork. Don't hesitate to create from one easy move and to add some concept that we already see together. So crossing legs or I don't know whatever you want. I will show you one. So uh, as I told you, you can play with the, this kind of slide on the floor, the scissor slide, like this, cross, go back, and it work, okay? There is a lot. This, okay? The double one, I will show you again this one. So, slide, I open, and instead of finish like this, I do a sweep with this one and back to this position. Faster, like this. Okay, once again. Okay. And if I had some move inside. Okay, as you see, I'm here, I can play with my leg. I can do whatever you want from here. I can jump also and go back to the footwork position. So once again, you can find a lot. As you see, I had some kind of rotation. So the most important for you now is to understand that with one easy move, you can add different move and create. And it's never ending story. There is also the concept of speed. We see some different before with the one step, but and two step. When you start with the two step, to try to stay, you know, in this uh, instant position. But you can add this on six step or whatever you want. I have one that I like to do. I used to do it since maybe 15 years ago now, and it's from the six step. Then I change it kind of variation of six step and I had this slow motion effect inside. But to make it good, I have to go fast on the six step because it's the difference between the speed and the slow motion. So it's really important for me to go super fast and then put the it's kind of effect. So from the six step here, I'm gonna just have this effect of slow motion and then go back. Okay, so it works just if I go fast, like this makes no sense. So I will show you now. You can try it, but you have to flip it because this one is my move. So let's go. Of course it works, it depends on the music. Without music, it's not the same. As you see, there is a lot of concept. You can also play on the with your form. And what I like to do in footwork is kind of this form that my legs gonna be totally uh, straight. And I will show you one that I like. So 
basically from five steps, six steps, three steps, whatever you want. Here, I'm gonna try to put my legs on this position. You have to be strong and to push uh, on your arm. Try to let your legs like this and go on the opposite way like this. So it's a little bit tricky because you have to be sure about the power that you have on your arm. At this time, like this. So make sure that you are comfortable with handstand and that your arm and your shoulder are strong enough to push on the floor. So there is level concept, there is a speed concept, there is form concept. Still now with the level concept, we're gonna play with the back, okay? So it depends. Some people say that back rock is part of the footwork. Some say that no. If you compete in the footwork battle, I will say no. It's better to don't go on your back, but it depends. And for me, this one, you can do it. But it's just my point of view because it's three step and I'm gonna go on my back, but super fast. Like I go to my, on my back and then I go back to my three step form. So for this one, I will kick on three, but from the one step for sorry to do the three step. But at, the, on this, at this moment, I have to go on my back. When I'm gonna change my legs, I have to go straight on my back. And then from my back, I have to push here on my leg to go back on the tree, okay? So I will do this kind of uh, head, head swipe, kind of, and go back to the tree step. So from this position, one, I have to fall down on two, and then on three, kind of head swipe. This is three. One, two, three. 